Hey YouTube, Omar here. It's been a very, very, very long time since I made a video, but um, so I've been slacking in that category. I've been really busy with uh, baseball and school. Got the SAT tomorrow, but I uh, just woke up, about to go to school on Friday. Uh, today is Friday, and just want to make a quick video. Also, if you notice my lip, it's swollen. If, if you're gonna ask about that, uh, I got hit in the face with a baseball, the crown ball, and warm ups. Took a bad hop. Hit me in the face. <laughs> anyway, let's get down to it. The Mets. Um, I'm impressed. I gotta say I'm impressed. Um, the series, I mean, this homestand that we had where we started off with the loss to the Braves. And then we finish it, I believe, I want to say... Six and three, because I know we took two and three from the Marlins, three of four, so it's probably seven and three. So, I mean, the Mets have potential to be really good this year. The hitting is still not there. It's not. Uh, Juan Lagares returned last night. Uh, he had a couple doubles and he had a pretty good game. The Mets overall. Uh, were not did not show up to play last night, especially Bartolo Colon. He's, I have to say, he's been the weak link so far. Um, he has a tendency to have these bad games. This is his second of the year, uh, where he's given up this many runs, and uh, he gave up all seven, if I recall, last night. Um, but Travis Darno hit a three-run homer in the ninth. Didn't really matter, but hopefully we can salvage at least two. Not three of this series. It's a four-game series against the Rockies. Uh, we took the one and only game in Philadelphia. We took two or three for the Marlins, even though we should have swept. And we took three or four from the National League East. I mean, National League champs, the Cardinals. I mean, we're on a roll right now. Fifteen to twelve is our record. Um, luckily for us, the Braves got swept by the Marlins, so we actually gained ground uh, and are close to first place. Um, today, uh, tonight's game, Wheeler's pitching, I know that. Uh, and now the challenge is really for Terry Collins to find a way to balance this outfield. How's it gonna go? Last night, I believe Eric Young was the one that didn't get the start. Uh, personally, I don't know what I would do. Because you need, even though he's done absolutely shit this year, you need Granderson's power threat. Chris Young has been the power threat lately that we've asked for. Um, and, of course, Juan Lagares is playing so well. Eric Young, not so well, but he's such a great player once he gets on base, stealing bases and everything. So, do you really, can you really afford to have him on the bench? With a, Especially with a team like the Mets where we just don't run. It's best for him. Uh, the captain, Dave Wright, he needs to step up. He's been having a, a lacking season. Uh, Murphy, he's solid this year, as usual, very consistent. And I think the Mets can actually, you know, go somewhere. I think we can definitely get the wild card spot. I wouldn't go as far as saying we can win this division. But so far in the first 27 games, this team has shown they can win the wild card spot because I feel that there's still room for improvement. Will we improve and use that room for improvement? Who knows? I don't know. But can we improve? Yes. And we're already in the wild card spot, even though it's very early. So an improvement would only help us at this point, get the wild card. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, everybody have a nice weekend. I'm, you know, I'm not gone. I'm back. I just had a tough week, a hard week, busy week. And uh, let's see if the Mets can... Do something in this weekend against the Rockies, and I want to see some offense. This is one of the ballparks that's known for home runs, known for hitting. Then the last night we faced some bum, and he made us look like he made we made him look like a Cy Young contender. Plus, he had a two-run double. The pitcher. Anyway, that's my spiel for today. Uh, probably coming out you with the video. I don't know, some point this weekend. Uh, playoffs for the NHL and NBA are exciting. And that's pretty much it. 
All right. Peace.